everyone my allergies are so bad right now but i don't want that to stop me from coming to you with some of the very powerful messages that i have planned for you this week and today's message is a very powerful one because whether we want to admit it or not we all have a hidden side we all have this dark side we all have this side that is our true self that we don't share with the people in our lives or we don't share in the environments that we happen to move in. I remember a long time ago when I lost it all, and if you didn't watch that story, I will leave a link for you to be able to go and see that story, but you gotta grab a glass of wine when you do that. But anyway, I remember when I had lost it all, it could have been really easy for me to blame other people or other circumstances for what I was experiencing at that time where it felt like I was at the lowest of the low that I had ever been in my whole entire life. What I did have the ability to recognize though is that if I didn't want to be stuck there and if I didn't want to continue in that negative cycle of sadness or depression that I would have to confront myself and help see what I could see about the situation that I was in and what I could learn about what was in my power, what was in my control and what I could do about it. Because on the surface, I have felt like I was a genuinely good person. I did the right thing. I did everything that I was supposed to do. I really couldn't think of anything that I really did to help contribute to the things that I was experiencing. And that really made things a lot more frustrating for me. But then as I dug deeper, I realized that I was harboring some deeper pains and some carrying some traits with me that were stopping me from truly connecting to not only who I was, but also connecting to happiness and the life that I desired. I would not have uncovered that though if I had stopped at the surface level. So in order for me to really figure out what those deep traits were and that I was even harboring any pain, I had to go, deeper into my subconscious, deeper into my unconscious. It helped me uncover these deeper or more hidden parts of who I was. And it caused me to really have to be honest about who I was, my internal struggles, and all the parts and things about myself that I had hid from everyone else. And like I said, even myself, right? On the surface, I didn't even know that it was there until I actually started to do the work. And if I didn't do this, I would not now be living a life full of abundance and in alignment with the, the dreams and the desires and the opportunities that I've been able to call into my life since doing that work. And if you are wondering like, what work is this? This powerful work that I'm talking about is called shadow work. When you don't do shadow work, it can manifest in your life in a variety of ways. For instance, you can have crappy relationships. You may feel stuck in life. You may have, um, especially in your, your relationships, problems with being overly independent or codependent. It can make you feel sad. It can make you feel insecure. Or it can also make you create a victimhood mentality where you think that everything that's happening in your life is happening to you rather than you being an active participant in your life. And that was one of the things that I had to come to terms with for myself. But here's the worst of what can happen if you don't do your shadow work. What it could do is it could cause you for settling for less than you deserve out of life. And the reason why this occurs is because sh not doing your shadow work can drum up feelings of insecurity, of being unmotivated, of being lazy, and of just being broken in general. Once I had started to really do the shadow work and incorporate the activities that I needed to confront that deeper part of my subconscious and my unconscious, I was then able to really start to facilitate some big changes and big shifts and big opportunities of growth in my life. And just like I did it, you can too. So I wanna talk a little bit more about that. Just like I was able to overcome this more dark, heavy time in my life, you can too. I help clients do this all the time. I help them confront like their deepest fears, their subconscious layers, their unconscious layers. And I help do that through a variety of processes that I've built into my overall framework, my overall system for my private coaching clients. Some of the things that I work through with them are teaching them to recognize the internal crap that must be dealt with in order to really move forward in life and in teaching them to work with that internal crap so that they can just deal with it head on, of course, with me by their side. What this does is lends itself to a very introspective 
practice that is very, very powerful. And it also can be very emotional. So I don't want to discount that fact, but what it will do is lead them lead you closer to a clean slate so that you can start to build more stronger, more self-sufficient, more supportive foundations in your life upon which you can grow um, and gain more purpose and gain more direction in your life. The reason why this works with my clients, the reason why I do this, the reason why I am such a believer in shadow work is because it allows you to be able to recognize the negative patterns that don't serve you so that you can move forward in life more connected to yourself and to do so with increased self-awareness. It can be really hard to see a way forward when you feel discouraged or you feel down or you feel stuck. So if you want to start doing this for yourself, I have a couple things that you can do to help you to get started. The combination that I recommend for you if you want to start to try to do some shadow work at home is a combination of journaling and a combination of meditation. So I would recommend some journaling prompts that are connected to shadow work as well as some specific meditations that will help you do more shadow work. And while this won't be one of the easiest things to do to change your life, this is one of the most foundational tools that'll help you change your life. And I promise that if you are willing to commit to this, you do have a way out. And like I said, just like me, you can move past rock bottom. You can move past insecure. You can move past feeling stuck and feeling unmotivated and feeling lazy or moving past any patterns that have kept you stuck in the past. If though you find that you've done all of the things, all the meditation, the journaling, or tried to really look deeper into your layers, but you still are finding yourself having trouble or stuck or just feel like you need help to be able to do that, I do want you to recognize that I did open the doors to my 12 week coaching program it is a hybrid program where it has a combination of lessons as well as one-on-one -on -one support from me helping you through my systematic approach for things like shadow work and all the other steps that i put in place for you to rewrite your life connect with your vision and your purpose for your life and then move on to really start to do the things that you need to do to be able to create the life of your dreams and so if this is something that you are interested in again it's a 12-week program I added an extended payment plan this time just to try things out for those of you that are really motivated to dig in deep, do the work and start really changing your life. But maybe sometimes coaching can be a little bit expensive for you. And I only have five slots available right now. So if this is something that you know that you want to do, just know that I'll only take clients by application only. So I will leave all the information for you to apply for one of those slots. But like I said, if you want to start to make big shifts in your life the place that you start is with your shadow work so you can do the deep dive into yourself to uncover what needs to be removed so that you can start to make room for some of the better things to happen in your life and until you get rid of all of that junk all of that stuff that you're carrying all of that baggage all of that stuff that you may not even know is holding you back it's going to be really hard for you to move forward at your highest capacity at your highest potential so I will leave information for you. If you want to sign up for a coaching slot, let me know. Otherwise, the suggestions in the video should get you started and I'll talk to you in the next video.